it's me, Tess. Ben and I went on the best research trip ever. We went to an amusement park and I dragged him on every ride I could. He put his foot down when it came to the free fall tower, but that's okay. I still did it, you know, suffering for science. Our video is on kinematics, the study of how things move. And we did a lot of moving on those rides. The designers really need to understand motion when they create a ride. The combination of speed, velocity, and acceleration can make something a thrilling adventure or a nightmarish head rattler. This roller coaster was awesome. It had just the right mix of speed, drops, and turns. Too bad I ate a funnel cake and a huge hot dog before going on it. I really regret that. Ben does too. Anyway, our research wasn't limited to roller coasters. We also experienced circular motion and centripetal acceleration on the spinning cups and swings. Not enough acceleration and the ride would be boring. Too much and it wouldn't be safe. These rides go through tons of testing and safety checks, but accidents do happen, and Ben was not willing to risk himself or his camera on the tower ride. But he got some great video from the ground. During the drop, you experience free fall, well, as close as you can to it outside a vacuum. You're hurtling toward the ground and it feels like your stomach's in your throat, and then the brakes come on. Not too fast though, you'd be a pancake. The ride gently decelerates until it stops. It was so much fun, I hopped off and went right back in line to do it again. I'd go to an amusement park every week if I could. I am so glad that there's designers and engineers who understand kinematics and can use motion to create amazing thrills. I think this might be my favorite video yet. What do you think? Let me know if you agree.